Hi guys, so you guys suggested it, Kick Eye by Arca. It was the most requested one, I think 47% of you wanted this. So let's start with the first song, it's called Non-Binary. Like, comment, subscribe and stuff. Did you wanna... Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool start, I think. I, I thought I was in, sometimes my Apple Music like bugs out and it goes in slow motion mode. And that's what I thought I was hearing at the start, but no, it's got this very cool, like, because of kind of groove to it. I like it. I don't give a fuck what you think. You don't know, it's both. Don't push your shit on me. Bitch, I'm special, you can't Sounds like a, a diss track. This is a diss track, right? You think you're dealing really with- Really cool sound no, to him. Cause you're not a puppet. Speak for yourself. Yeah, get it. Speak for yourself. Stakes. <laughs> it's just going up now. Meat for you smell? I don't know how to feel though. I'm like, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Tee hee hee. Tee hee. I want to read the lyrics. Okay. Um, non binary was a very interesting song. I don't, I didn't like it, but it was definitely um, interesting soundscapes going on there. Braided vocals, I'm enjoying that. It's not something I would like personally choose to listen to, but I can appreciate it. It's like gorgeous kind of soundscape. The artwork scares me a little. <laughs> I know where they end because I can see the toes, but still, this is feels. This song feels like Enya if she'd taken something. <laughs> was uh, given free roam access to all the sounds in the world. Kind of dragging now, though. This is... I can't pronounce this. I like it. It's a song about getting taxis, Ubers, Lyft. I'm learning Spanish. I'm getting, I'm getting some things. I'm liking this uh, reggaeton, but with Piper Pop. It's like they broke reggaeton. Smashed it around, beat it up a little bit and put it back together. I oh, mean, there's too many sounds to comment on all at once. This is, this is madness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every every song's like just baffling me, but in, in such a good way. It's like keeping my interest. And it's awesome, like production-wise, like you can hear everything. The amount of time it's taken to make this, I super appreciate it. Would I choose to listen to it? No, but this aspect of it, I enjoy. Yeah, it still keeps that like hyperpop element. But what is this? What is this album? Like, it feels a bit like a fever dream at times. Really good singing though, like, really good. That's <laughs> the really good singer is, is because it's Bjork, I imagine. Bjork can do a lot with her voice, can't she? Well, that being said, Bjork, would she be singing in Spanish? No. Okay. Guys, let me know. I'm confused right now. Arca, I'm, I'm just going to find out a bit more about it. Might as well while we're listening, shall we? Because I'm a bit of a clueless kind of guy right now. So she's Venezuelan electronic recording producer. But she's based in Barcelona in Spain. Ah. Right, so she just seems to be a producer that's worked with a lot of people, created a lot of very cool kind of stuff. Experimental music, hip-hop music, IDM. But she was inspired by Aphex Twin, Square Pusher, Bjork, those kinds of people. This is Watch, featuring Shy Girl. I'm liking that sound. Cool. Like this one. Mm. 
This is cool. I say it's cool because it's got a really nice driving beat. Um, it's still, it's still, it manages to be like beaty and like housey without sounding housey and beaty, like the the classic punch from the bass. So, personal things about Arca. She came out as non-binary in 2018. Later, adding that she identifies as a trans woman, goes by she, her, and it, its pronouns. She also uses they, them. She made five of these kick albums. Eight studio albums altogether. Zen, Mutant, Arca, this, kick one. Kick two, kick three, kick four, and kick five. It's got the reggaeton beat, but hyperpop. This is so good. It's so weird and good. That was a ride. That was a ride. Okay. Rip the slit. Not sure about that name. What is this? How is there two more minutes? The lyrics are finished. I was just gonna say this for two minutes. Please no. I'd like to stop saying rip the slit though for a bit. So she ripped the slit. That's the message I got there. Okay, this is the song with Sophie. I'm looking forward to this one. That was fun. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Oh, rip the slit again. Stop it. I'm definitely interested in listening to all the other Kick uh, albums after this to see how they develop, where they go to. This has got two songs left. This is Macho Macho Day. Macho Day. So it goes from these absolutely like manic, percussive, glitchy songs to these like big soundscapes, like kind of at different stations along the album. You are for me. Is that right? You are for me. Nice and relaxing that one. I like the message if I if I translated it correctly. This is no queda nada. No queda nada. They're kind of like a church. Very nice and relaxing actually. I'm glad it's progressed though to have some more elements in. I'm gonna slide down for a bit. Nice. So, I mean, I don't know what's up with me. I've got to translate it now. I'm curious. Oh, there is nothing left. Okay. Nada means nothing to me. Like, you say, de nada. means, like, no problem. I mean, in English, it translates to you're welcome. But... I mean, it was nothing. I'm spending too long just trying to figure out De Nada. <laughs> That's not now. A nice kind of calm ending to this album. He says with 40 seconds left and something could happen. I doubt it will. Una y otra vez means again and again. Okay, so I feel like this, much like the Sophie album, is something that I don't think I have within me a way to review this as a cohesive album it's a complete kind of mixture of different production hyper pop experimental type things 
it's been enjoyable in the sense that in terms of like me hearing interesting sounds as we go through this it has been enjoyable the nice reggaeton kind of um twist to these things has been good and something i haven't heard before i like the ambient kind of karma tracks in between things some of the singing on on this is beautiful and then some of these absolutely brutal punishing tracks kind of go in between it i don't know how to feel about it in terms of giving it a rating i think it's unrateable in a good way just like uh, i did with sophie it's just it's such a world that i'm not used to or that i'm getting used to that i feel i need more experience with before i say that is a great album that being said charlie xcx brat it, that, that's an amazing album but is it an amazing album because there's so much pop and stuff i'm used to within it and it's just taking things from this hyper pop experimental world and placing it within a more commercially friendly context i don't know but guys let me know what you think do you like this album do you not like it album do you pick and choose the ones you like from this album let me know in the comments and remember in a world where everyone wants to be heard and no one's doing the listening be the one that does the listening goodbye i guess It feels so good to say hello, 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 and now it feels so right to say I miss you, I love you, and God, it feels so good to say hello. God, it feels so good to say hello. Bye, ladies and gentlemen.